Hello guys, welcome back to another tech vlog. Today we are in Boeing 777 and during daily we found first officer dome light inox. We are in another Boeing 777 and in this aircraft we found captain side dome light inox. So the captain and first officer both dome light is of different assembly. So let's check out what is difference and how to replace the filament. I'm making this video specially for the beginners and the junior technician for making them aware about all the steps and precaution to be taken even in such a simple task of replacing the lamp. So watch the video till end and do support us by subscribing to the channel. Here is the diagram from our manual for replacement of the dome light. For juniors and beginners, let me give you a little more detail how to read the diagram from the manual. Because it's a simple task, so it will be simpler to understand. The more you go in deeper in different system, the more the diagram will get complex. So let's start. Here you can see the overview of the cockpit and the location of captain dome light and first officer dome light. This A represent the another figure for this dome light, the exploded view. So let us go on the exploded view. Here you can see this is the figure A and uh, the exploded view of the previous figure. So this is the screw, the grill cover and this is the dome light. So for uh, checking this exploded view of this area we have to go on figure B. Okay, so let's go on figure B and this is the figure B for the previous uh, figure. Here you can see this is the lens cover with bayonet connection. Uh, here is one uh, uh, dome light uh, filament, another dome light filament and this is the housing. Okay, so one more thing I want to show over here is you can see this the number one over here. What does this one mean? It means that there is a note which has to be read for this uh, filament. Here is the note installed in some dome light assembly. Okay, so this number one installed in some dome light assembly that means that this filament will not be there in all the assembly, only in few assembly. So on our aircraft, this is, this filament is only in the captain side. It is not available in the first officer side. Okay, so the left hand captain dome light have two filaments. Uh, this is called the emergency light, emergency dome light, and this is normal dome light. In normal operation, it will work. And nice to know information: captain emergency dome light is not covered under MEL. That means it is a no-go item. You cannot release the aircraft with emergency light in operative. First and foremost, we'll isolate the circuit. We'll see to it that the power will not be supplied in the dome light. So the storm light should be in off condition and the dome light rotary switch should be in off condition. Next, we'll pull out the CB. So this extract is from our AMM procedure. Open the circuit breaker and install safety tag. Uh, here, it is uh, the representation of the CB is little bit different than in the Airbus. Here, it will show you individual CB with the panel. Uh, there is no tabular form. So this one is on panel 320. Uh, the row is hotel. The column is 2. This is the item number, what we call in Airbus fin number. And this is the nomenclature of the CB. Okay. So we'll go in MEC via cabin or wire forward cargo. On the center, we'll find panel 320, which is ground handling bus. We will pull hotel 2, which is dome light CB. On the left hand side, we will find panel 310, 310. You have to pull Foxtrot 3, which is standby dome light. Always make sure you are pulling the correct CB by checking and confirming the nomenclature as well as proper row and column. On the right hand side, you will find panel 210 and you have to pull Eco 22, which is dome light backup CB. Okay, so this is Eco and 22, you will check out the nomenclature and then we will pull the CB. Now we will remove the grill cover. It had four Phillips head screw. So remove all the screw and carefully remove the cover. This is the lens assembly. It has got bayonet type connection. So we have to rotate it counterclockwise and pull it out. So carefully remove it. It is made of the glass. And then we will remove the filament with the same counterclockwise rotation. So we'll install the new filament now. And then we will install the lens in the same way. We'll just align with the notches, align and push it and then rotate clockwise. Okay, just make sure it is fitted properly, secured it. We are on another aircraft and here we are replacing captain side dome light which is different than first officer dome light as we discussed previously. Here we will have two different kind of dome lights. You can see there are two filaments. The small filament is emergency dome light and big filament is normal dome light. The smaller one is no go. Right now bigger dome light is enough so let us replace that one. We'll normalize the CB. All three CB has to be pushed in. And then we will do the operation test. We'll switch on the dome light and check if it is working fine. It is fine now. Let us check the captain side dome light. It is working fine. I'll switch it off. 
now i will put emergency light switch in on condition so this is an on and now the captain emergency dome light is switched on the small filament okay let us switch it off normalize the grill panel we'll install the screw in diagonal pattern this is the one of the interview question the reason is so that the panel is flushed evenly to the structure and all the screws is taking the same stress same load we will install the screw first we will just engage it from all the side and then we will give the final torque this will also make sure that the all holes are aligned properly and there is no screw which is cross threaded same thing to be done on captain side if you like the video please hit the like button share it among your friends and do subscribe our channel thank you for watching